Hi, everyone. <clears throat> grief, embracing grief. How many of you said one time in your life, I don't want to cry anymore? Or how many of you have cried because you lost your pet, you lost your, your cell phone, there is all the different um, contact numbers that you need. So among you have lost uh, a partner and was separated or divorced. The list goes on. Um, let me see. When I was young, I cry when my mom and dad leave me in the house. So there is this uh, fear of being alone in the house and not have the support that I need. So th this is based from um, me fearing that that I don't know what to do when I was young about um, maybe five or six years old. Um, I really know how to play that time, but for some reason, and the reason, of course, is lack of entertainment, you know, being alone in the house. Because my father always um, call me and always tell me, you're my favorite daughter. And of course, you get spoiled like that. And if no one is there to validate who you are, You're, um, you, you define yourself as less than that. So it's a sense of failure in a way. Let me first um, put in the chat box my website and my email. Uh, Okay, um, so let me just uh, So let's make some rhyme. When someone leaves you, do not cry. When you lose your cell phone, buy another one. When you, your partner leaves you, Find comfort within yourself and know that self-relationship is the basis of every relationship. Grief is not something we have to resist. There is a gift lying deep within. It shows me the value that I have put on things 
for people around me. Where the, where the value that I give is erroneously placed. Realizing that the value of every part of life is equal to life, equal in one. Express your grief without emotion. When you see the mess that we have created on earth. Say the F word, do whatever you need to do to repair the mess that we created. Forgive yourself as I forgive myself for we have collectively done this to the earth. I'm grateful to the earth for giving me a home, for giving me food. As a human, I can align my expression by giving everyone food and money is the key for food on the table to buy me a home where I can sleep and dress the body. So it, it can be comfortable. I realize that when I cry, I waste the water that can help my body function to its optimum. So I'll save the water. And do what needs to be done, support a living income plan where everyone will have income so that uh, we can get the basic necessities. Because if we don't have the basic necessities, we, we will remain in grief. All right. So give ourselves the gift of living a life that will give us what we need for we are the creators. And we need to create a world that is best for everyone. So welcome everyone for being here today in this live video. And I would uh, like to um, talk about grief.
my father died. When my father died, everyone was crying. Um, I, I looked at it and I said, well, if, if I will cry because I lose my father, I lost my father, it will be a statement of it will be a statement that will diminish myself and my father because then I will define my father as only here as the body. What about the being that he is as the breath that remains after the body goes back to dust. So I decided not to cry and just give a a speech about his life and what uh, stood out was he he was still looking for a job already it is this quest to for money to survive in this world that makes life limited. So we have to look at um, giving everyone money every month. There are, there's the living income guarantee. There's the basic income guarantee that is being piloted in Finland and um, in Sweden and New Zealand. It was piloted in South Africa and it worked. One day I want to pilot it in the Philippines. Um, and uh, first we have to have money. So this is key in embracing grief is giving ourselves what we need. Giving ourselves exactly what we need to be able to To see the world in a different light, to see our environment in a different light. Because if we see people not having food on the table, we will be impulsed and by what we see. And of course, we will react to it in grief. And to us, that is our way of saying this is not okay i wish there is a better way and um i wish that child has clothes i wish that child has education i wish you know and then as we wish we cry i did that before but it doesn't help anyone really we are just twisting the water in our body crying those tears. Um, we can see so many people giving alms to the poor and clothing, but that is just a little bit of what they deserve. So really part of that grief that we have is guilt. Guilt that we haven't given them what they deserve the equal share 
Because whatever nature gave us, he, it gave us for all, not just for us and uh, humans um, distributed it unequally. So we have to just correct that. And the gift that grief brings is that realization that we can do something about it. That the, that we, what is going on around us and the inequality that is here, is that something that is here for us to cry about? It is something here for us to do something about. There's no use crying, um, but you can express grief in a way that is a release of this. Um, outcry for for being sorry for accepting and allowing this happening here in this world and taking self-responsibility and say yes i'm part of this we can actually recreate this world to a better world a world that will give everyone dignity by giving everyone a basic income guarantee or a living income guarantee where you give give everyone money not a little bit of money but enough to survive in dignity and then an added provision if they want to work and do that which they are here to do if their skill is in carpentry and they want to express that let them do that for in creation in creative expression lies money and time and the only way we can have time to create is when we are supported financially because most of our time in this world is dedicated to work to survive. If, if you give everyone money equally, and of course the question is, where are you gonna get that? There are corporations that sell, for example, water to people, bottled water. You know, water comes from the earth for everyone. It's free, you know. So the corporations can just make their business work, get the money to make it work, and give the rest of the profit to other people who are in need. Because water is supposed to be for everyone. So aligning our expression to what is best for everyone and what is mutually beneficial for everyone is the gift that grief brings because oh, as you cry, you realize, hey, you know, I can do something about this. You know, we can support the creation of a world that gives every, everyone dignity by giving them money to buy the basic necessities they need to survive. And this aligns to self-realization. I mean, for me to be able to um, exercise or express as who I am here as that cre creator that can creatively express myself. Well, then we have to um, 
really look at. The, the sources of grief in this world. If there is no food on the table because there's no money, let's put the money in there. You see, it's common sense. It doesn't take uh, an engineer to an engineer diploma to add that up. One plus one equals two. I mean, that that is common sense. We most of us lost common sense because it's not very common. Because all of us has this diploma, and we think about things. And we think about the problem before we even provide a commonsensical solution. So that is it for me today. And thank you for being here. I'll see you soon.